I, I don't necessarily agree with how she treated her, but we do not get to see enough of him, right? Like, you see him being like poor innocent Michael. This man scammed her. And I I said it uh, when we were there. So, so that's that. Um, when she says I said it when I was there or when we were there, I'm not too sure it's referring to the fact, is she referring to when they were there in the tail hall? Because when they were in the house, she's the one that spoke to Michael and also encouraged him to go and speak to Angela and uh, to obviously, you know, sweeten her up. But yet you're telling us that you also addressed that you felt like he scammed her. Why would you help someone who you felt scammed her? May that make sense, but we continue. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was just reading stuff. But guys, like what you see is what you get. I don't know. I don't filter. I don't. I say it like it is. If there's an issue, I will say it to somebody's face because I think that we're grown adults and who has freaking time for that? Like, I'm that girl that tells you you've got a booger in your nose or something in your teeth. Sorry, because I would really like somebody to do it for me. So, um, oh my, I have not had my eyebrows done in like months, so thank you. Anyway, I'm just now looking. I know the private investigator found nothing, but I was skeptical. I'm not a private investigator. Um, but I probably could be. <laughs> Us girls know how to get to the bottom of stuff. Um, <laughs> no lies told. No lies told, man. I'm surprised that most of the detectives in this world aren't women, to be honest with you. Or, or private investigators, if you dig what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Despite the private investigation, she still feels, all right, cool, cool, yeah. I mean, but to be fair, though, I feel like it should have been outlined when the question was asked. Um, when Ash asked the question, is there anything that proves that Michael scammed Angela? I feel like there should have been a definition of what do you mean by scam? Because marrying her for the green card can still be a part of a scam, but it doesn't mean it's going to be something that you're going to find on record. Do you know what I mean? Like, the only way you're going to find on record that he married her to be in America for the green card would be if he was to find a conversation that he's had with maybe some of his friends. But he may not have, he, but he may have never had that conversation with his friends over anything that is electronic. He might have had it word of mouth. This is what I'm saying. But either way, though, either way, though, I do. It would have been cool. If when she he was asked the question about her being about her being scammed by Michael, if he had said, okay, I checked this, I checked that, I checked this, I checked that, because the my man turned up at the tail old stage, right, with a of a whole bunch of papers, a hundred over a hundred plus papers, okay, of information that he had found, and out of all the information that he found, the only one that we saw was this weird family tree, which made no sense. Well, it did make sense, but it's like, why is it there? But either way, though. Each time he was asked a question, he would beat around the bush by saying, I got this, I got this, I got that, blah, 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 blah. But he never really gave us like specifics on certain things. And I feel like he should have given us specifics on what he looked at to find out whether or not Michael scammed Angela or not. Did you get what I'm saying? Because really and truly, when we talk about him scamming her, we're only referring to the fact that did he marry her to get to America. That's the only thing that we really care about to know, you know what I mean? And that wasn't really clarified because scamming covers a lot of things. It could have been money, it could have been anything, but we definitely know he never scammed her for money. <laughs> but we continue. Um, we're crazy. Um, but yes, I, um, I really do want what's best for everybody. And I think because people watch this show, they really do forget that these are our lives. Like, we really freaking have, I mean, I can speak for me now because we have a life outside of this. Like, we freaking work and like do stuff. Um, these are people's emotions, relationships. So I have something in the bottom of my teeth. No, I don't. It's, uh, oh, I do. Mm. Thank you. I thought it was like the protector over here, but thank you. Um, if he were a white man, you wouldn't doubt him. What? Race has nothing to do with this. What? No, he fucking scammed her. To be honest with you, I don't know why someone thought it was wise to bring up race, you know? He could have been a white man from Nigeria, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure the conversation may have still been the same, but at the same time, though, are you more likely inclined to judge a man that is white from Nigeria or a man that is black from Nigeria? So maybe race has got something to do with it, to be fair. Yeah, I, I, I can run with that. I can run with that. 
But we continue. But that's not to say that white men don't scam. Mm-hmm. Black, white, purple, blue, green, yellow. That I don't see color, honey. So, no, no. If Alex treated you the way Angela treats Michael, would you accept that as love? No, I wouldn't. So, but what does that say, right? What does that say? If, if we all saw Angela screaming and we didn't see the other side of it, why did he wait so long? Why did he try so long? Why didn't he freaking go somewhere else? Like, why did he lead her on? That's how I think. Um, that's how I feel, okay? Like and to be fair, that statement itself alone is why there were many people who say that Michael deserves to have the green card because of how long he waited to get one. <laughs> there's people who are like, no, he didn't scam, but then there's people out there who are like, yeah, we know he scammed her, but he deserves it because he went through a lot of shiz to be able to get here. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't really think that's right personally. Um, at the end of the day, for me personally, the way I look at it is, uh, if we run the narrative that Michael was waiting to get to America and he was willing to go through all the madness that Andrew was 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 was, was to put in front of him, for me personally, I don't really feel like that's a really a good thing to watch or something to to be proud of because all you're really showing is that is that is that, is that you're willing to 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 go through whatever it is just to get to a just to get to another country. That's that's quite sad. That that is sad and quite sickening. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing positive about it in my opinion. Um, there's nothing that I can sit there and be like, oh my god, you know what? You de yeah, you deserve to be here because you actually allowed yourself to be abused for years. Like what the hell? You know what I mean? And also, let's not forget though, if the roles were reversed, let's be real. If the roles were reversed, that abuse on national television wouldn't have lasted for years. You see what I'm saying? That abuse on national television would have been dealt with. Straight, straight off the bat, straight off the bat, the couple would have been taken off and then they would have probably gone their separate ways, blah, 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 blah. And I feel like that's kind of sad to be fair. As a man, to really watch another man decide to actually go through that is actually quite annoying to be fair. It's quite disappointing because there are some men in this world, okay, me, myself in particular, who fight for the idea or speak up for the idea of how, how, is, how, is, how it's so unfair that when the shoe's on another foot, the judgment is so different. The treatment is so different. So to see someone to choose to literally, you know, or to, to see someone potentially choose to be abused for years just to get to America is nuts because... It's like anything that I can say now about, oh, men should stand up for themselves. This guy's gone against it, potentially, given the fact that that's what he was doing. Do you see what I'm saying? And, but this is the problem of this world. With this world, you know, when there'll be one person, what happens is there can be a group of people who are trying to do better, and then there's always that person that ruins it for the rest. You know what I mean, you know? It's the same as, like, when women fight for a certain thing, you know, but then there's always one that has to come and ruin it. You know what I mean? And that's, beside it, that's just the way of life. But either way, though, for me personally, can I respect the fact that he chose to stay in this relationship to potentially, to potentially just to get to America? Hell no! Because I know for a fact if I was to do what he did, I'd be a massive hypocrite to my own beliefs. If you dig what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Because like I said before, if the shoe was another foot, this wouldn't have gone even this far as this. So for me personally, if it happened to me straight off the bat, I would have been acting on him saying, hold on a minute, I can't let you do this and just get away with it just because I'm a man, you know what I mean? Like, come on, let's think about it. If, if we think about things in, on a deeper level, away from disliking Angela, hating Angela, you know, trying to make her, you know, to trying to make her feel like X, Y, Z. Let's move away from that for a second and let's get to the deeper root of it. Because if we're avoiding the deeper conversation, the conversation that's actually needed, the people who are like, oh, yes, I can't believe he, he weighed around, like, really into it. What the hell are you advocating for? And we, and we shouldn't really pick and choose when we want to advocate and when we don't want to advocate. See, if we do or we don't. You know what I mean? Pick your side. <laughs> but either way, though. But like I said, everything is everything that I'm saying is based on if he really did wait around because he just wanted to get to America and he was. You know what I mean? And plus, as a man, it makes you look weak as hell. Weak as hell. And let's be real, we live in a world now where there's a lot of men who aren't men anymore. You know, and women are complaining about where all these mas masculine men are. But now all of a sudden, some of them are here advocating for this man behaving like this. Come on now. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be done if I allow myself to be in that position. <laughs> like self-love, self-worth is everything. If you don't have self-worth, self-love, self-care, I worry about you. Like, why did he freaking take it? Like, if he was so unhappy, 
Why did he wait seven years? That's uh, how I feel. But again, uh, this is my opinion. And, um, and that's that. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go, I guess, oh my God, it's already two over here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, these are my opinions, guys. It's not facts or anything, these are my opinions. Um, but like, she was really in love with him and he put up with it for seven years, like why? If anybody talked to me that like that or treated me that way, I wouldn't do it. I don't think anybody else would. So why? To be fair, the people that are obviously kind of like advocating that, for the people who believe that he did scam her, and because of, for the people who believe he did use her to, for the for the for the green card, but he deserved it because of what he had to go through. The question is, if you was in Michael's shoes now, would you have waited around for that long, allowing someone to make a fool out of you on national television? I mean, to be honest with you, if I, I'll be honest with you, and this is another thing I'll look at. Any woman that's watched the show that's in America, if they now meet Michael, you know, somewhere, none of those women are going to respect him. You know what I mean? If he's, he's going to be like, hey, baby, you know, da, 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 da. I'm never ready to respect him. They'll be like, bro, we, we know you ain't masculine. <laughs> we know that you're happy to take BS, you know what I'm saying, okay? You know what I mean? And if anything, uh, this kind of trend is something that could follow him, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's been publicized now. You know, some women will look at this and be like, hey, yeah, you know, this guy's going to be easy to control. He's going to be easy to be submissive to me, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes in life, you, sometimes in life, you just got to be careful of what image of yourself that you put out there because the image you put out yourself, well, sometimes it can be a very hard one to move away from, you know what I mean? But e either way, though, at the end of the day, I will say this, though. Everybody is entitled to their opinion on this whole matter. And I don't believe that people can be wrong based on their own opinion because at the end of the day, our opinion is our opinion for whatever purpose is, you see what I'm saying? Maybe some will be a bit wild and some can be a bit, can definitely be wrong, you know what I mean? But I don't feel like it's one of those things where people just start having a divide of, yeah, but he did this over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just, I reckon the best opinion that we can give in this situation is if you were in this situation, would you have lot, would you have stuck around for that long? In fact, men, I asked men this question, not women, men. How many men would have stuck around with Angela? for this long that's what i want to know men let me know let me know how many of you stuck around for this long and then and then on top of that women how many of you could see yourself being with a man that was willing to go through that you see what i'm saying you know and also like a, a, a flip one let's say this is your sibling ladies if this is your if this is your brother you're seeing him go through this would you just come on you know what i'm saying let's ask the real questions let's get away from angela and michael and the hate that we have from Angela, let's get to the, you know what I mean? But people don't want to have those conversations. People don't want to have those serious conversations because hating Angela is more important than having this serious conversation. <laughs> what are we advocating here? Come on now, let's get real. Why was he so committed, like, for so freaking long? If he was so upset with it, bro, just fucking back out. Like, let her live her life and that's it. So that's that. Um, yeah, this has been really fun, guys. <laughs> and that's my opinion. Um. Nonetheless, though, Lauren's still hella annoying. <laughs> Despite the fact that she said a few good things here and there. Oh, God, Lauren is so arrogant. Hello, <laughs> fine, guys. All right, calm down. Pipe yourself down. <laughs> Miss Perfect. <laughs> um, but either way, listen, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions down below. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, let's talk about it. But like, to be honest with you, me personally, I'm only really gonna entertain comments that involves people that actually wanna speak about on a deeper level. You know what I mean? Not people gonna be like, yeah, but I did this. I don't give a damn what I do, but like, he allowed it. Not. I'll see you in the comments. <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.